bed, but I am not in my house. I'm not going to tell you where I'm at, but I'm babysitting a cat for a friend. So that much I'm going to tell you. So without further ado, let's feed the cat. I'm not going to show you everything, so I'm just going to feed, and I'm going to show the camera. But yes, this little buddy has been very patient. Uh, So, y'all want to see the cat? I'm not going to show you anything. I'm only going to show you the cat. But, yeah, let's just flip the camera right here. That is the cat in question. So, little cat's having lunch. Fancy little uh, water fountain water bowl. Very nice. Happy Easter watch, pony. Bro, someone locked my Twitter account for 11 hours. I swear I swap it back. Because while the cat's having lunch, I'm also going to have lunch. Hello, everybody. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Ah, and for lunch today, I'm having Popeyes. Let me just scoot that like there. Perfect. So, happy Easter, everybody. How you guys been? I'm going to have Popeyes because fast food is probably the only thing that's open on this holiday of eggs. Easter <laughs> is the holiday of eggs. I'm not having eggs, I'm having chicken. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? OMG, a cat stream. Yes. And right now the cat's eating. So right now that's what we're going to do too. So I ordered myself the Popeye's uh, spicy chicken sandwich. And I ordered the fancy one that has like cheese and bacon in it. Like look at that gorgeous thing. <laughs> cheese, bacon, and chicken. So you have the bird. You have the cheese that comes from the cow. And you have bacon that comes from the pig. This is the whole farmhouse in one sandwich. I am a monster. <laughs> and first up. What happened to my fries? My fries are literally all over the floor. Well, I guess I'm happy because now I have more fries. But still, it's like... It's like five guys, they just threw my fries in the bottom of the bag. Like, I have to worry about the oil now from the bag. I think I'm just gonna leave it on my lap. Mmm. Mmm. But I do love their Cajun style fries. Like that part's really good. Mmm. That's delicious. And I have ketchup, but because I can't, you know, ketchup this, this isn't ketchup. This is Louisiana hot sauce. <laughs> All right, let's test drive the soda. Mm. Good soda. And a single ketchup packet. So I have to stretch this whole ketchup packet for just one thing. Gordon Lai? Gordon Lai gave me five bucks? Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Gordon Lai. It's been a while. Um, happy Easter from BabsCon. Wish you were there, WP. Oh, man, yes. I wish I was there, too. Everybody in BabsCon, like, send pictures, because I... <laughs> this is my first BabsCon I'm missing out on. Hey, look at you, everybody. This is Snack. Snack, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the public. They want to see you. You're the star. Oh, you're so sweet. Mm. Yeah, I know. You're such a cool cat. 
are such a little gentleman. <laughs> Curious about my food, huh? Hey, it's all good. You got your food, so you're happy. You're happy now. Mm -hmm. Aw, so cute. Anyways, yeah, I'm babysitting um, this little, this little um, schnookums here. That's Snack. His name is Snack. And he is a certified good boy of a cat. So very delicious. Anyways, let's get to eating this. And I know hopefully Snack will come back later. Because I don't want to pick him up too much. Mmm. But I'm babysitting him because their owners are in batch cones right now. Woo! So, if you are Snack's parents, hello. <laughs> Shout out. Hope you're having fun at the con. And let it be known. If you can't go to a convention, then you can babysit for people who are going to the convention. What's up, Snack? You okay? <laughs> Man, I, I, I love cats. They're just so fun. And I just bit the paper. <laughs> oh, what's this? Are you sure the cat's name isn't Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service? Oh my gosh, yeah. I love Gigi. Gigi's a good cat. What are some of my favorite cats? I really love, um, ooh, Amity's cat. A Amity's a uh, talisman? Or, yeah, talisman. Amity's talisman, the, the little white cat. That's a good cat. Ooh. <laughs> also, happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter, uh, Gordon Line. Hmm, I'm curious to what this, how spicy this Louisiana hot sauce is. Because I already got the spicy chicken sandwich, which is also, which is already really good. Jude 3300 is here. What up, Jude? How's it going? I'm just chilling here with my Popeyes. But I'm a little upset. Why is this sandwich and these fries and this soda a whopping $15? It cost me 15 bucks for a combo. Like, that's crazy. I don't know what's going on. Also, I don't know why a snack is just running around all over the place. Hmm. Mm. What's the matter, Snack? You okay? Is it possible for you to do a ponytail stream today? Nah. I'm not in my house. <laughs> I'm in somebody else's house. Do you have a kitty? No. I'm babysitting for my friends who are at BabsCon right now, and they have a kitty. I'm gonna flip the camera like that. That's better. Yeah. Look at that. Now I'm centered. Someday not. <laughs> Welcome to California. Oh man, not today. <laughs> yeah, but not. Eventually, the, the the little guy is gonna come over here. His name is Snack. He's a really cool cat. <laughs> He's cooler than actual cool cat. You remember cool cat from like the anti-bullying video or something. <laughs> not today, not today, replied Tally, not today. <laughs> but yeah, I hear in Ponytown there's like a big Easter event going on right now, right? Something crazy like that? I, to which, hey, that's pretty cool. That's really dope. Mm. In the world of top tens, I'm like, ooh, a coaster. I'm gonna be a polite house guest and use a coaster. Look at that, being responsible. <laughs> I mean, I am taking care of a cat. I have to be responsible. And by the sound of it, it sounds like Snack is prepping up some work for me for the litter box. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm.
Elijah Walton says, Hi there, where's the kitty? The kitty's running all over the place. <laughs> the kitty's got the zoomies. There you are. <laughs> Snack, say hi to the people. They want to see you. Snack. Look at you, there you are. Snack. Oh, now you're too smart for that trick. <laughs> Careful with the puzzle. Oh my gosh, no, 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 don't stick your head inside this. Or maybe you do, maybe you do want this, but... Yeah, there's no crumbs, so... You wanna play with it? Snack? You wanna play with this? Are you planning on going to Everfree Northwest and other cons this year? What, WP Cat City? Oh, Yes, Snack, come here, Snack! Come here! Look, it's all yours, you can have the bag. Play with the bag! Play with the bag, Snack! Snack, come here to the camera! Okay, I'm just gonna flip the camera just for a little bit. I don't want to show off their apartment or anything, so I'm just gonna... Oh, 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 wait, 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 what, wait, wait. Oh, look at that, we got it, we got it, we got the cat. Snack's in the house. Snack, look up. <laughs> Uh, so that's snack, guys. It'll be coming by in a little bit, you know. Although I'm not gonna I'm gonna treat the bag yet, just yet. Mm. But yeah, I do plan on going to Ever Free Northwest next year, or at least that's the plan. I'm also planning to go to BabsCon next year as well. Originally, I was gonna go to BabsCon this year, but I ended up getting financially hit really badly in February and January. So by the time March rolled in, I was like in recovery mode thinking, oh no, I... Oh my gosh, snack. <laughs> he jumped in his house. No, it's... Oh my God, snack. You crazy. You crazy little oddball. Oh my gosh. You look like you're chilling, WP. Thank you, Marie. Also, hello, Marie. Thank you for joining in the chat. For those of you who don't know, Marie actually has a little bunny named Cooper. And since today is Easter, that means it's Cooper's most famous day of the year. Cooper es essentially becomes the Easter bunny <laughs> because every bunny becomes the Easter bunny on Easter. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm. This is a good sandwich. But yeah, Everfree Northwest and Babscon. Those are the two cons I really care for now. I haven't been to Trot Con in a minute. I'm thinking about going to Harmony Con, but a little too far for me and um i still want to go to Galicon because i still want to go to germany i still think that would be a lot of fun Ooh, in other news snack snack just crawled under the couch <laughs> see this is why i love babysitting cats like you just can't tell what they're gonna do one second they're on their like scratchy post and the next, they're going to run under the couch. Then they're going to jump all over you. Who knows? I've been babysitting cat for the past few days because their owners are at BabsCon right now. And we've been chilling. You know, we've been watching Simon's Cat, Chicken Nugget. Um, I was trying to get him to watch Making Fiends. And Making Fiends is a classic show, like... If you don't show baking fiends to your cat, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> ah, love that chicken for Popeyes. I think Popeyes is honestly better than KFC when it comes to their chicken. What's up, Snack? Mm. 
Marie. LOL, yes, and I'm glad that Cooper is feeling better too. He hasn't been eating in a couple of days, but he's got his appetite back and his personality too. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that was scary when you told me that Cooper wasn't eating. I was like, oh no, bunnies can have problems too. I, I guess maybe it's because I never owned a bunny myself. So I never thought that bunnies would ever get sick. Bunnies, um, like... For some reason in my brain, because again, I never owned a rabbit before, are like the same category as like gerbils and hamsters. They're, you know, they're pets that don't necessarily have a lot of issues or you'd never have to take them to the vet. But that's just not true. From what I've seen online um, and what I've been seeing more and more of are like actual rabbit owners with their bunny pets. And it's actually like, Bunnies are a lot more like dogs, you know, like you could raise one to be like a hamster and just have them chill in a cage um, as long as they're happy with food and, you know, you clean it, you clean up their messes. But ooh, you could also raise them like dogs and have them be outside. You could run them on a leash. You could play fetch and games with them and like thinking, wow, these bunnies are actually very flexible pets. Um, the only downside, though, is that some bunnies are just insanely fast, and they do rocket zoomies, like, like dog zoomies or cat zoomies, but rabbits take it to a whole new level. They're like weasel fast. <laughs> Have you ever seen a weasel do zoomies? They are like, they're like, they're like fire noodles, just like, <laughs> just zooming like a, like a bullet train. Elijah says, my sister's black kitty made a big mess of the water in her kitchen. He was playing with the water fountain on her fridge. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, which season may be the best pet win? Oh, oh, what are you guys talking about? Um, you should watch My Little Pony with Snack. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I'll show him the My Little Pony movie and introduce him to Capper, <laughs> the talking cat. <laughs> so, you know, really mess him up. <laughs> Which season may be the best pet win? I'm glad Cooper doesn't beg for food like my dogs, though. Really? Because last time I checked, we played Fortnite some nights. And then Cooper throws his empty food bowl at it in his cage to get your attention. Tell me that's not begging. If anything, dogs are probably more polite. They're, they at least like, you know, paw and try to get your attention. But your rabbit's like, making noise, feed me. <laughs> but no, I, I definitely agree. Co Cooper is a cool, is a cool bunny. <laughs> nah, nah, that's demanding, lol. <laughs> Snack, what are you doing? Did you find something? Did you find the secrets of everlasting life? Oh, the neighbors from downstairs. Okay, the neighbors downstairs are doing like an Easter egg hunt. I hear children. And Snack's like, oh, children. Ew. <laughs> If I was a cat, what kind of cat would I be? Would I be a fat, lazy cat? Would I be like, uh, like a tabby cat, like you know, very athletic? Would I be like a borderline wild cat? Would I be a Siamese cat, or would I be a bald cat? Yeah, like Egypt, bald cats. Mm-hmm. I actually saw a bald cat for the first time in real life, and. Now, let me tell you something. Bald cats are actually way more cute in person than they are in photos. In photos, bald cats have every wrinkle, like, exposed, okay? Some of them look creepy, like they have brains on their skulls because of all the folds they have. Like, online pictures, bald cats do not look that pretty. I will easily admit that. But in real life, I think maybe it's because I met this one particular bald cat 
so affectionate, so sweet, hopped up on my lap. I started petting that thing. That thing has peach fuzz. It does actually have hair. Bald cats have hair. It's just tiny. It's just multiple tiny little fuzzies. So when you're petting a bald, uh, like a bald cat, you're actually petting like uh, just a bunch of peach fuzz. You know, those little baby hairs that like, you know, people like to feel, you know, like that. Obviously not this, this is, <laughs> this, uh, this needs to be shaved. But yeah, bald cats are actually super fun to pet because yeah, that peach fuzz is just hypnotizing. So what's going on with Snack? Snack, you okay? You're not going? Hmm? Oh, you're good. Uh, there are a few rooms that the owners um, wanted me to ensure that Snack doesn't go into. So I just wanted to make sure he didn't sneak into those rooms. Snack, you got zoomies protecting the house. <laughs> You're doing great, Nick. You're doing great. Let <laughs> me mm. catch up on the comments. Marie says, when I see cats, it makes me miss Mittens, the boy kitten. I saved one night when I was storming. Oh, wow. Why is Ice Gaze getting mad at me? I didn't do anything to her. Animals react heavily to the animated Lion King death scene. <laughs> Marie says, uh, you would be a curious cat, WP. That would be a very, that would be very active too. And Tally says, in my opinion, Bald cats don't look like they belong on planet Earth. Yeah, they look like aliens, honestly. You know what animal doesn't belong on Earth? Giraffes. Like, how the hell did evolution give us giraffes? Like, unicorns make more sense when you compare them side by side with a giraffe. Like, description-wise, think, think of this, okay? Yo, have you heard of this thing called the unicorn? It's like a, a horse, you know, like the horses we have here, but with a, a, a sharp point sticking out of their forehead. Like crazy, right? Now do the same with a giraffe. Yo, have you heard about this thing called a giraffe? It's like a horse, but super tall. And the neck stretches like further beyond their body. Like it becomes like towering up and their tongue is like three times the size of their head. And they have horns on the very tip of their heads too. And they're spotted like, um, yeah, like a, they're just spotted giant horses. Like that sounds so much more alien than actual unicorns. Crazy, right? But anyways, yeah, bald cats are adorable. Like I used to be hesitant about like maybe owning a bald cat, but now, after meeting one, a bald cat would totally be up my alley. Like, I would love a cat. Honestly, any cat, really. And yes, going back to what Marie said earlier, if I was a cat, I would be a stupid cat. I would be falling into things. I would be jumping into things. I would see something, and I would immediately go like, yes, and I do it. You know how that saying goes, one orange brain cell? That would be me. Absolutely. Mm. I have two cats. Tally says they have long necks so they could reach leaves. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm just saying that it sounds like a really funny idea. Noah Harris is here. Hi. What's your favorite animated cat? Mine is Kitty Caswell, but I also like Master Tigress. Tigress from Kung Fu Panda. Kitty Caswell is from Agent Puppy, right? Something like that. Tough Puppy, I think. I haven't seen the show, but I think I know who you're talking about. 
You know who has a cat? Charlie Morningstar from Hasman Hotel. Oh yeah, she has a cat that turns into a key. That's really cool. Also, I like the Cheshire Cat. Marie, you have the ten dollars. Oh my gosh! All right, everybody in the chat, all five of you. I see you counter. the The counter says five. All five of you in the chat. I need you all to give a big woot woot to Marie in the chat right now for donating ten whole dollars. And you know what? That ten dollars is still not enough to cover my meal because this cost fifteen. <laughs> But hey, Gordon Lai also gifted me $5. So also give Gordon Lai a big woot woot. I forgot to do it earlier, but yes, give Gordon Lai a big woot woot as well for donating $5. So together, they're $15. So your $15 went to my Popeyes. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, much love. And Snack also loves you. He's staring at the window right now, but I assure you, he's thinking of you. Snack is thinking of you, right, Snack? Yeah, he's thinking of you. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, what's this? Elijah, the one unicorn I'd meet is either Glimmy Glam or the unicycling Izzy. Don't you mean the... Oh, yeah, unicycling. <laughs> when I read unicycling, I thought, like, actually riding a unicycle. Like, those single wheels that are, like... I don't know why I'm doing that with my fingers. Gordon Lai, W. I finally got two step to apologize to me. Chuck a chuck. Woot woot. No Harris. What the hell? What pony would you like to meet? For me, it would be the great and powerful Trixie. Marie gifted another $10? What? Marie! Oh my gosh! Well then, chat. You know what to do. Everybody in the chat needs to give Marie another woot woot in the chat. Snack, you need to give a woot woot to Marie. Do it now. She gave me $10. Which, by the way, thank you so much, Marie. You totally didn't have to, but thank you. Well, now um, now we have 10 extra dollars to contribute for next week's lunch. So thank you very much, Marie. And yes, everybody give a wood wood. Tally, wood wood. Noah Harris, wood wood. Very good. Thank you. Keep it up, everybody. Everybody give a wood wood to Marie. Like, and honestly... This was like the first donation in a long time. <laughs> I haven't received donations in quite a bit. Um, I think because lately, like, I've been reacting on the computer and those have been very distracting. Um, I do want to like, you know, alert you guys more that I am trying really hard to make more videos for Watch Pony because aside from the live stream, I haven't really been giving you guys a lot of content and I, always been feeling bad about it so i am letting you know right now i'm stuck in a funk okay i'm working on a new format to edit the videos and it's 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 difficult like i'm trying to edit it to make it look this way and this is also my first time editing a program on adobe premiere which is also not the easiest program to learn so i finally fixed it last night so hopefully I'll be able to uh, make more videos soon. But like, I'm not lying. Like I was like, I was stuck in a position of where I was like, nothing's coming out right. The, 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 the visuals look off. And like, I was looking up online for tutorials every day. And I'm like thinking, man, this project, it's what was going to take me like three days is already taking me seven. And, you know, because I've been live streaming, I haven't been able to work on it too much, but yeah. Today, I'm not going to be live streaming video games because, you know, it's my day off. It's Easter. We should give each other a day off to, you know, break. But I will take the day today to spend some time 
so I could finish editing the video. So that way you could finally get some fresh new top tens. Because I'm trying to edit it. The reason why it's taking so long is because I'm trying to edit it in a way so that way when I make another top 10, it's a simple matter of just replacing my lines and replacing the visuals and everything else can stay the same. So that way videos can come out faster. That, that, that's ultimately what this is for. <laughs> the reason why I'm battling so much to edit this first draft is so that I could make new videos like so much easier, you know? I'm trying to make the graphics, trying to work the transitions, trying to, um, you know, make the, the, the letters and the numbers work and everything. And it's just a big headache. But yes, after this first video, it should be working out smoother now and top tens will be a regular thing again, like it used to. Because I have so many ideas for top tens and I also still need to give G4 its final send off. I still need to do top 10 moments from, you know, season seven, eight, and then finally nine. And then after that, it's gonna be a top 10 moments from the entire show. And that one is, you know, I'm also planning. And then I could start the G5 top 10s. And then, honestly, I'm starting to run out of ideas. One thing I am running out of ideas for are top 10s about the fandom. Like lately, the Brony fandom, it's kind of hard to like make top 10s about still. Just because a lot of creators got hit like me with the Hasbro, the, the Copa, and their, you know, videos being flagged as for you. But like, there's still Magpie videos, there's still um, Forga Lorga videos, there's still plenty of um, Storm FX3 videos, plenty of Little Shy videos. Like, bronies are still pumping out content. And, you know, I gotta keep track of it, you know. It's just hard to do. It's hard to do. You look like a guy that's given up on something. <laughs> that give up. Oh, and you know you don't know me, Crimson. Because never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Snack, come with me. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Come on, Snack. Never gonna tell. Come on, Rick, roll with me. Never gonna tell a lie. Snack, you want the bag? You want the bag? Actually, snack's done with you. <laughs> Top 10 pony plush artists. That one's gonna be tough to do because like, ooh, excuse me. Because um, the pony plush artists are all different. Like, how do you determine which one is better than the other? Like, honestly, I'm thinking about moving on to tier lists. You know, like it's easier to do A, B, C, D than it is to have a single defined number one victor that's better than everybody else. And I honestly also don't like inflating egos. That's why I don't really like doing top tens that make bronies compete against other bronies because I also don't really like um, declaring this is, this person is better than everyone else because it, it really sucks. Like sometimes they don't like the attention, sometimes they don't like the title or reverse, sometimes they love it so much that they get an ego out of it, you know? And I also don't like doing that either. Mm. Or I could just make top tens, but just include just 10 in a random order. So that way, if you're in the 10, you're in the 10. If you're not in the 10, then you're not. Like, I feel like that would also be easier. I used a combination of Google Drawings. Top 10 Pony Smoothies. Top 10 Pony Fan Games. Ooh. Do you think fighting is... Do you think uh, Dems Fighting Herds is considered a fan game? Because it uh, technically it isn't, right? It's its own game. It's like, you know, their own characters, their own lore. Um... I've been wanting to play Fall Guys with you, but I knew that you've been really busy and didn't want to take up your time. Hey, no worries, Marie. We'll definitely play sometime later. I couldn't help seeing WP babysitting cats. It was cute and adorable. Also tried rolling the R's with the great and powerful Trixie. Very generous, Marie. The great and powerful Marie. Snack, come here. Snack, come on. Come on, the couch is warm. Come on, 
snack. You know you're curious. Take a look. <laughs> it's like he wants to play, but he doesn't want to. Snack. You don't want to tr look at this cool ketchup? Look at the cool ketchup. There you go. There you go. No? No? I guess he doesn't want to see the ketchup. No worries, so I'll come around. Guys, I think it is time to play, so let me see if he'll be let me see if he'll be done with one of his toys. Ooh. Snack. Snack. Mm. Snack. <gasps> oh my gosh, there you are. Snack scared me. Oh, snack! You got it! You got it, snack! All right, all right, snack. Level two. Level two. Get it, snack. Come get it. Oh, oh, you almost got it. You almost got it that time. You almost got it that time. There you go. Go, go, go. Come on, snack. Come on it. Come on it. Come on it. Okay, one more. Come on, snack. Come on it. Come on it. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah, nice. You murdered it. Heck yeah. Look at you. You're a vicious murderer. Mwahaha. Okay, flip. It's over here. Oh, the snack, it's over there. It's over there. Oh my gosh, the snack. Come on, go get it. Get the, get the ball. Get the ball of fuzz. It's, a, it's an abomination that needs to be killed. Come on, snack, you can do it. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where'd it go? Where'd it go, snack? Where'd it go? Yeah, you see it? You see it? Here comes the lineup. Just shut it. You got a snack. Come on. Nice. Nice. You got it. You got it, snacky boy. You got it. You got it. Ah! <laughs> Flip. There we go. <laughs> Very generous of Marie. Woot woot. So, so love trying to roll the R's. Let's see. Um, what would you do if someone gets bad? Pony smoothies. Gonna play Minecraft. Why are people hanging on animals? My little investigation. Is that a real game? Because I th thought it was just a video series. LOL. Top 10 uh, kind of charity items in brony conventions. <laughs> Maybe. That looks pretty cool. All right, Snack. Let's do it again. All right. Ready, Snack? Snack. Snack, look. Snack. Look. Look. Oh, there, there it goes. There it goes again, Snack. Goes again. Oh, oh. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, it's gonna be faster now. Come on, come on, Snack. Do I sound? Do I look like a weirdo just doing this in front of the camera? <laughs> come on, Snack. Come on, Snack. Come on, you want it. Lining up. Oh. oh, did you go for the kill? Did you go for the kill? Fortnite owns the Packers. <laughs> no, <laughs> the Packers just like gave him their. Oh my gosh, he did it! He's murdered it! Nope, he's still alive. He's still alive. Okay, he's good. Flip. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Let me finish up a few fries and then I got to do the other chore that everybody loves to do. I'm pretty sure all cat owners can ex can attain to this. Ba -ba -da -da. Litter box. But anyways, happy Easter, everybody. Children are better than adults. Meh. Fortnite owns the backers. Nah. Fortnite is just um making skins in honor of the Packers and every other football team. 
because if I notice right, and if I remember correctly, there's a Fortnite skin that lets you pick the jerseys and uniforms of every single of every single NFL team. <laughs> Snack, what are you doing here? You want to chill up here with the bag? Look at you. Look at you. And everyone's upset. Keep reporting accounts. Brandon Sunday Star Scout. What the heck are you talking about? Also, if you're reporting people, you're going to get in trouble if you make false reports. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. You reported over 9,000 Fortnite players. Yeah, <laughs> there's no way you could have done that. <laughs> How fast do you think it would take for me to finish this entire bag of Popeye's fries? I'm never getting banned. Where's everybody else? Did everybody leave the chat? He is a very cute boy. Yeah, I know. I know. Snack is a very cute boy. Did you miss my Trixie comment? I think I did. Let me re let me rewind. Kitty. Uh, Trixie has popped up in many TV shows. Trixie would have been uh, Dill's name if he was a if he was a girl. Timmy Turner had a crush on Trixie Tang. In My Little Pony, we have the great and powerful Trixie. Wait, um, Trixie was gonna be um, Tommy's little brother from Rugrats. One minute, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Minecraft but uh, listening. Oh, you're playing Minecraft. Okay, that explains it. All right, but still, either way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. So now, let's see how fast I could eat these fries. One, two, three, go. Time. That was like five seconds, I think. I have a watch, why don't I use it? <laughs> Try that one more time, all right? One, two, three. Go. Time. That was six seconds? Wow, okay, not too bad. I thought it was nine at first. That was like nine seconds. Wow, can't believe it. Noah Harris says, happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Anybody have any exciting plans? Because I'll be honest. Easter feels more like a kid's holiday. Like, you could probably pull the line being older or being an adult. And you could go trick-or-treating for Halloween. You could probably get away with it if you're, you know, a little bit older. And you're following, like, the Santa Claus traditions. Like, taking pictures with Santa at the mall or leaving out cookies and milk and, like, still believing in the lore of Santa, you know, even though you, you kind of have to really believe in it. But you cannot do any of the Easter stuff if you're older. <laughs> like Easter egg hunts, coloring eggs, eating candy chocolate eggs and stuff like that. Like that is, that is only for the kids. Like, I'll be honest. You could probably do the other stuff and maybe you'll get a few, you know, glances. But if you are like having an Easter egg hunt for yourself or something like that. Yeah, that's just too weird. You, you, get, you would get a lot of weird looks if that was the case. that I'm good I didn't finish all the fries but it's good enough for me I'll save the rest for later I'll heat them up later because the fries are honestly they're already cold 
and I don't want to eat cold fries. They're not the tastiest. But then again, I also don't like eating reheated fries because they're soggy and starchy. <laughs> Um, I had a lot going on. My grandmother has been crying a lot since my grandfather passed. It's hit her harder than I know. Please keep my family in your prayers. Ah, oh, damn, that's, that sucks to hear, Elijah Walton. Really sorry to hear about that. I hope your grandma feels better. It's never easy losing a loved one. But that's all the more reason why we should be happy with those that we love right now. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I was going to say that your shirt wearing looks soft and comfy. I like it. Oh, my flannel? Yeah. Yeah, it's my flannel. <gasps> snack. Come here, Snack. Snack. Come here. Give me cuddles. <laughs> You're like, cuddles? Seriously, dude? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why I thought that was going to work. Nah, you're like, nah, dude, you're only here to give me food and, and change my toilet. To which I'm like, crap, I forgot the toilet. Hmm? Maybe he's coming, maybe he's not. Let's see. It's a new noise. We'll probably get curious enough. Who knows? But either way, guys, yes, definitely... Um, Acknowledge and love your loved ones while they're alive. A nice, fun little reminder. I mean, it's not a fun reminder, but it's good to be reminded of that, you know? Because sometimes you just get too wrapped up in life to, you know, maybe you occasionally forget. Um, let's see, I have a lot going on. He he, cute. Rigo was in love with a couch once, but... Till this day, he remembers that the couch has a memory since it is home alone for another few hours. Meow. Meow. You guys hear that meow? It's adorable. Also, what couch are you referring to? Because if you're talking about that couch that's in your place, that couch doesn't just love me. That couch goes around the block, okay? That couch has multiple lovers, maybe even at the same time, okay? That couch has has done the deed, okay? <laughs> this couch is okay. This couch is humble. It's it's um keeps to itself, but also has a lot of cat scratches because you know it's a cat couch, and cat couches are usually owned by the cats. <laughs> then again, your 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 couch is also a cat couch. Because, fun fact, Crimson Solstice has one, two, three, four cats. Is it four cats? Because I think one of them belongs to your roomie. But I remember Sebastian, I remember Chibi, and I remember Lulu. Meow. What's the matter, Snack? Meow. Okay. And the other one was Sheba. So I remember those four cats. But uh, I think there was a fifth one named Storm, I think. Or maybe that was Sheba, I don't, and I just don't remember. You're right, it had Spartan and you at the same time on both ends. <laughs> Stop phrasing it like that. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> LOL, that couch has seen too much at their house. Oh yeah, <laughs> it definitely has. You want something, poor kitty. Um, what are we talking about, mate? Also, happy lunch, buddy. Thank you, Mexican onion. Uh, we're just talking about couches and cats, of course, because, you know, I'm babysitting a cat, which means I have to, um, have to change the litter box. So I'm going to leave you guys for a little bit. You're only going to hear me because I don't really want to show off their apartment or anything. But you got a lovely view of the couch. And maybe even the cat, if he shows up. Maybe. <laughs> Happy lunch. Wait, what's this? Oh, snap, there's more. If any consolation to you, I never met my grandpa from my mom's side. He was long gone before I was born. Wow, yeah, same here. Um, I actually lost my grandfather from my dad's side when I was barely two. And he lived in Mexico. 
So I was in the United States and it was really hard to go to Mexico at that time. So yeah, I never met my, my grandfather from my dad's side. I only met my grandfather from my mom's side. And I had him for a good chunk of my childhood until eventually he passed away too. And like, I feel like 2014, 2012, I think it is 2012. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a rough one. No, that storm was Sarah's. Okay, so I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It was, um, it was Sarah's. Yes. So you, you still have four cats though, because yeah, you have Sebastian, you have Lulu, you have Chibi, and you have, um, Sheba. So yeah, four cats. And at one point you had five. It's crazy. I'm here with just one cat. And this cat was already wanting stuff. Man, I love that couch. Is that for sale? I mean, only if that couch comes with WP and the cat. <laughs> no, no, sadly it doesn't come with me and the cat. But I'm going to leave this here to entice the cat to see if he shows up. Hi, Snack. All right. All right, Snack, let's go clean your toilet. Jabba boo. Jabba ba. Max, what have you been eating? Oh yeah, I know what you've been eating, because I've been feeding you. <laughs> I cannot read the comments. I cannot read the comments. I cannot read the comments. I can't read the comments because I'm changing the litter box. Oh, I'm changing the litter box. The litter box. The litter box.
Here you go, Snakey Boy. Nice clean toy. Can I pick you up? Ah! Okay, fine. Got my answer. Yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm back. What's up? There you go. I gave you your link back. <laughs> All right, anyways, guys, let's see what happened in the comments while I was changing the toilet, while I was changing the bathrooms. Let's see. Sonny, it's not good to hate on somebody. <laughs> Sonny Star Scout, are you hating people again? How many times have I told you, man? If you're going to be hateful in the comments, I'm not going to read them. It's better to be, you know, chill. It's better to be, you know, nice. And it's better to not have a grudge, a vengeance, or anything. Just be, just be positive, man. Be positive like me. That's going to make life so much easier. Trust me. All right. Anyways, back to la 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 la. My efficiency. Hi again, everypony. Hi, Gordon Lai. Ooh, an empty bag. Would you hate somebody if they made fun of you? Spicy. Rico got mail. Sadly, there's a lot of people who turn kids' characters into perverted crap. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's just called the internet, okay? <laughs> the internet does not exclude anybody. And Sonny, yeah, it's not good to hate somebody for the matter. Um, I wouldn't hate anybody no matter what they have done to me. Man, that cat has a personality. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, every cat has a personality. And Snack is a really cool personality. I like Snack. He's a, he's a chill cat. What are uh, some other favorite cats? Um, uh, it can be hard to be positive sometimes. Well, that's just all the more reason why um, being positive should be embraced. Because it's so easy to hate. It's borderline lazy to hate. Because you could very easily look at a bad person and say... Ew, I hate, you know? That's easy, strangely enough. It's hard to forgive. It's hard to look on the bright side. And sometimes when life is down, it's hard to, you know, think that, ah, oh, man, like, everything sh is gonna be okay. But I'll tell you this, when you get into the habit of um, being positive, and being more nice and, you know, looking at somebody who's gross and instead of going, ew, I hate you, instead being like, ew, you need some work. And I'm not going to hate you for it, but I wish you the best, you know, because if people are being despicable, that's their problem, not yours. And if they make it your problem, then you just let them go. You, everything that you say to them or everything that they say to you, they could call you the worst insults ever. Just ignore it. It'll all just like come in through one ear, come out through the other. Because if you're full of hate and anger, <laughs> in my mind, you're invalid. <laughs> your every single thought that you thought of is invalid. All of your criticisms of me are invalid. All of your opinions about me are invalid. And all of your insults that you would throw at my way invalid because I know what's true. I know what's real. And I know that I am who I am. Am I the best? Who knows? Maybe not. Am I myself? That is true. <laughs> it's very Sesame Street, but it's very true. Power Cat from Chainsaw Man. Oh yeah, that's a cool cat. I don't know if you've seen a video where they mentioned you in a retrospective of the MLP Creepypasta by Rainbot. Wait, what? I don't know if you've seen a video mentioned you in a retrospective of MLP Creepypasta. Rainbot, eh? I mean, I know I gave a really big... Snack, you okay? Snack, what's the matter? Why are you meowing? You want to play some more? Snack, 
Okay, you're just gonna play. Alright. Let me bust out the fuzzy. A snack. Do you see it? Snack. Hmm. Hmm. There he goes. There he goes. Snack. Snack. Snacky boy. Up, up. There you are. There you are. Up. I see you. I see you, you're lining up for the shot. Yeah, nice. All right, Snack, what about this one? All right, what about this one? Snack, look, he's going up from the back. Nice, <laughs> you got the bag. You got the bag, Snacky boy, you got the bag. He's going up to the back again. He's going up to the back again. What are you going to do about it, Snack? Look at that. Now he's bugging your face. What you going to do? What are you going to do, Snack? What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, nothing you could. Oh, okay. Never mind. He doesn't want a pet right now. He could have sworn in the beginning he wanted a pet, but hey, whatever. <laughs> oh, look at the sun. Snack, look. The sun came out. Ah. <sighs> Snack is an adorable name for a cat. Yes, it is. Um, just letting you know. Um, it, was, it wasn't like a hate speech about you, it was just a mention. Ruru used to lay halfway on the chair with the back leg standing. Equestria is real people trying to annoy me. LOL Snack. Equestria wasn't real, then nothing's real. That's one thing I love about Watch Ponies, that he's so positive, and honestly, it's helped me be more positive too. Yay. Gordon Lyman retracted a message. Snack is a football player. Yeah. Nah, if Equestria and anime are not real, then nothing is real. I'm glad because I got people's... <laughs> I'm not even going to read that, Sunny Star Scout. Positivity, okay? I'm not going to read... This is a new vow, okay? My, neck, my new vow is if you... Every comment has to be positive. I, if you're comment is negative in any way, shape, or form, I will not read it. That is my declaration as king of Watch Pony because I'm the owner of the channel. I declare that I will not read a single negative comment anymore. So if you want your comment read, it has to be positive. Understand? Snack, do you understand? He understands. Yep, babysitting cats is hard work. It can get real messy sometimes. But you know what helps you combat that mess? Is that when you have a mess that you need cleaning up, you could use our sponsor, um, Rocket Mortgage, or Rocket Money. Rocket Money keeps track of all of your expenses at the end of the month. And there's a nice button that'll help reduce your monthly costs. Have you ever gotten a subscription that you only needed to do once or twice, but you end up keeping it unknowingly and you spend up to a hundred bucks a year on something you don't even use? Well, with Rocket Money, you don't have that problem. But if you don't have Rocket Money, or rather, before you have Rocket Money, make sure you use the coupon code from Honey. 
Honey is a free browser extension that lets you copy and paste coupon codes. So when you get your um, Rocket Money subscription, make sure you check out using the Honey extension link. But before you could even use your Honey extension link, of course, you need to have a safe and secure connection to the internet. And that's with our sponsor, NordVPN. With NordVPN, you have military-grade encryption. <laughs> I am going to stop now because this is stupid. Oh, look at that. Snack is now enjoying the sunlight. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Ba, do, 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 ba, do, do, ba, do, do. All right. Let's see. Uh, preacher, brother. Yes. Positivity. Yes, WP has declared. And um, let's see. Um, Sunny, if there's any nativ <laughs> if there's any negativity, <laughs> Marie, you wrote if there's any nativity, <laughs> like a nativity. <laughs> if there's any nativity, put it six feet under. No, it's negativity. <laughs> if there's any negativity, put it six feet under. <laughs> Mexican onion. Every time I hear the song, it's either the B movie ending or dark memes of a nuke bomb drop <laughs> those are dark memes why would you put why would you put a beetle song in an explosion <laughs> hey hey man can't help autocorrect man <laughs> yeah i know uh but that's it it's just a really funny autocorrect there <laughs> Yes, bury the symbol of Christmas. <laughs> All right, anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, going back to what you mentioned, uh, Mexican Onion, um, I did not know I was featured in a video. Um, I know my top 10 creepypasta video is quite possibly one of my most famous videos and one of the, the videos that got me, like, the most views ever. And honestly really blew me up in the fandom like when before the top 10 creepypasta video i wasn't that famous so yeah it um that's definitely like one of the biggest uh videos of my of the of the channel strong snack you okay oh uh, you want to go into the forbidden room sorry snack i got strict orders from your parents to not let you go you want to play with the fuzzy again? You want to play with the fuzzy? Yeah, you want to play with the fuzzy. Let's go, let's play with the fuzzy. Come on, come on, Snack, you can do it. You're a hunter. You're a wise old wolfhound. You can do it. You can hunt. Yeah, look at you. Look at you go. Come on, Snack, you want it. It's literally right there. Come on, Snack, you can do it. Your tail is wagging. Uh oh, he's going after the plastic. He's gonna eat the plastic. You can't let him eat the plastic. Come on, Snack. You can do it. Don't let him eat the plastic. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat the plastic. Come on, Snack. Go. Take the plastic away. You can take the plastic away. He's gone, Snack. He's gone. No! The plastic. Try again. Come on, Snack, look. Look at him. He's getting the plastic. He's getting the plastic. He's getting the plastic, Snack. There he goes. He's lining up. Boom! Look at you! Yeah, good job, Snack. Good job. <laughs> So yeah, I love that. I love like when they wind up before they attack. <laughs> like it's so like it's so like nail biting on the edge of your seat. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Snack, you scared me. <laughs> Snack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he 
he literally lunged right at the coffee table where I was. Oh my gosh. I used to cat sit too, and the cats were all over me at first. I didn't really like cats, but that changed really fast. Yeah, I love cats. I, I've always, I've always have loved cats. Cats are just cool. They're just like cool little creatures. Speaking of which, I'm surprised the owners haven't dropped by. Normally, I would, I would think I would see them here. Uh, they, they are smart, though. They have, like, a little cat camera, so they could keep track of their cats. Because, you know, I'm not going to be here all day. I have to eventually go home. Uh, but I do want to have my live stream here. Now Snack is going to take out WP because he knows too much. <laughs> Send Snack to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Sorry, I had to focus on Minecraft. Did I miss anything? No, nothing. Snack is the NFL's next quarterback. Heck yeah, you hear that? I, I can't wait to tell Snack's owners. I'm gonna tell Snack's owners, oh yeah, dude, frickin' Snack was like a celebrity that year, or that lunch. Everybody in the live stream was talking about him, saying he's gonna be an NFL superstar, saying he's gonna be banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> uh, um, he is giving... He's giving too much advice, lol. <laughs> oh, you're talking to Tally, or Taylor, Taylor letting him know what he missed. Yeah, yeah, just a bunch of advice, you know? I mean, it's Easter, like, today's like a day where we just have to relax and enjoy our family and stuff. Meow. Hi, Snack. Wanna say hi to your adoring fans? Look at you, look at you. Oh, I see, now you want cuddles. Now you want attention. Now you want snuggles and scratches. <laughs> what I mean, this cat. <laughs> One moment he's like, no, don't touch me. The next, he's like, please touch me. Want some, want some more scratches? Yeah. Well, found something. What'd you find, Snack? What'd you find? What is it? Hmm. Is it your water? Do you need more water? No, your water looks good. Oh, did this fall? Hmm, weird. All right, thank you for telling me, Snack. You're a good cat. Ah. Uh. But yeah, we're going to wrap this up in a little bit. So let's open it up to a quick little Q&A. So ask me anything. We have 11 viewers. And if you have any like fun Easter or cat related stories, let me know because now's the time. Now's the chat. Um, let's see. He's giving too much advice. Snack's going to take him out. Take Snack to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> All right. But yeah, today's just a nice... Cool, fun day. Let me see what filters they have. Oh, wait a minute. Are these filters for... Oh, ooh, nice. What's this? These are nice. Hey, that one's cool. <laughs> Tess is here. Dropping by to say happy Easter to all. Moon and crimson to... Hey, Tess, how you been? Happy Easter to you too. Thank you very much. I'm just here babysitting a cat and eating Popeye's chicken. And honestly, it was really delicious. Hmm. Marie, what type of pet would you... Oh, here comes snack, I think. Never mind. <laughs> just when I thought he was going to grace us with his presence. Um, what type of pet would you like to have someday, WP? Honestly, any animal, really. I'm not picky at all. Um... My only hesitancy would be birds. I don't think I would like a bird for a pet because of the noise factor. So I guess maybe a more quiet pet would be okay. But like, I'm not going to say no to a dog because dogs could also like control their volume. You know, if you train them right, if you train a dog right, they'll be able to, you know, be quiet when they need to. If you don't train them right, they're going to be like huskies and they're going to be like yipping and howling and going Arr! like all day. <laughs> Same thing with cats too. If they don't, if you don't treat them right, they're or if you don't train them right, they're gonna be meowing all day. They're gonna be like illegally small. Um, 
because I do a lot of recording, I do um, work with a lot of audio, and I record myself for live streams, I could record myself for um, audio books, and I record myself for top tens, obviously, and other projects and voice acting, so I definitely need a quiet pet. So anything like from like maybe a gecko to like um, to like a snake or maybe uh, like a a pet tarantula? No, 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 no. A pet scorpion. Yeah, something metal. <laughs> um, maybe a, actually maybe not insect because like <laughs> if I do, nobody's gonna want to hold them. Um, but I also don't want like a hamster because like they also don't really do much. Um, I'm not opposed to a mouse, like, you know, a pet rodent or like a rat, but I'm also not too keen on them either. I do like a pet that I could like play with on a more like inventive scale. So I think most likely it would have to be like a dog or a cat, I think. Um, solid third would probably be like a pet alligator. Alligators don't make much noise. And as long as you have them a nice um, habitat, they could be pretty cool pets, I think. Hi, Snack. Where are you running to? Running with the force of a thousand tacos. It's Snack to the rescue. <laughs> How about a gecko? Some people have caracals. What the heck is a caracal? Is that a bird? Sounds like a bird. <laughs> okay, enjoy your day. Okay, Tess, you too. How about a gecko? My cat. Um, a family owned chased off my grandfather's Rottweiler. Really? A cat chased off a Rottweiler? That's pretty cool. Let's see. Ooh, great choices. Here's an interesting fact. Princess Luna has a pet mouse in the My Little Pony comics. Holy crap, Snack, what are you doing? Oh, a car call is a giant half wild cat. What's that matter, Snack? You're acting like a wild cat. <laughs> yeah, he's acting like a wild cat right now. I don't know what's going on with him. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's running on the edge of glory. <laughs> he's running to the edge of glory. And I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm on the edge. Staring at my sock. <laughs> staring at my sock. You're getting sleepy, Snack. You're getting sleepy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Um, my iPad is dying. Yes, WP, sing it. <laughs> yeah. I could, I could sing Lady Gaga all day, honestly. Lady Gaga is like my guilty pleasure. Um, I know how to sing like Just Dance, Poker Face, Paparazzi. Um, a lot of the older stuff. I haven't really listened to a lot of the new stuff. I like the, uh, in terms of new stuff, I, well, applause, I was going to say applause is new stuff, but <laughs> applause is pretty old now. <laughs> Time flies, dude. I tell you, um, we built this thing on tech that's old. <laughs> we built this land on solid gold. We built this tech. This tech is old. <laughs> and, and I'm also like looking at all the toys that like Snack has. Snack, come here. You don't want to chill? Come on, you have adoring fans. They all want you to be a super NFL superstar. Hmm. No. This is actually really creepy. Like hearing nails scuttering down literally underneath the couch. And you could even feel the little vibrations. Super creepy. That is so creepy. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, we put this thing on tech that's old. All right, then. So thank you very much, everybody. I think now is probably a good time to call it a night. So I will see you all next time. So 
Thank you once again for Snack, for being, um, for co-hosting this with me. Oh, did I say mouse? I meant opossum. Oh, an opossum. Oh, yeah, opossums are cool pets, or opossums are also cool pets. I like them because they're like socks that came to life. <laughs> All right, yay, bye. All right, bye, WP. So yeah, everybody here, you know, happy Easter. Spend some time with your family if you can. And, you know, be grateful for what you have. And I hope to see you all. Um, most likely, I think I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. So, so if you want to see me on Twitch, you can find me there. Ooh, a flying squirrel. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be a fun pet. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Happy Easter once again. Snack says happy Easter to you all. And Snack, of course, is, you know, saying thank you again. And a big thanks to everybody who donated again. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for it. And yeah, new top 10, hopefully coming soon. Ideally this week, but um, we'll see. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you all next week, every Sunday at um, 11 or 12 <laughs> Pacific time here in the US. So also I sent some pics from BabsCon on your Discord. Oh, thank you, Gordon Lai. And yeah, everybody on BabsCon, uh, safe travels back home and I hope you enjoy the con. And I will see you all next time. Streaming never bothered me anyways. Bye-bye.